Edmonia Lewis was born on the 4th of July in either 1844 or 1845 in Albany, New York. Born a free person of color to an African-American and Haitian father and a mother of African-American and Native American descent of the Ojibwe or Chippewa tribe. After her parents died, she lived with her aunts and made Ojibwe baskets in order to make a living selling them to tourists in Niagara Falls and Toronto, Canada, as well as in Buffalo, New York. Her brother Samuel earned enough money to send her to New York Central College, which she attended between 1856 and 1858. But since she did not learn English well, her brother suggested she transfer to Oberlin College. Oberlin College, a private liberal arts school, located in Oberlin, Ohio, was founded in 1833. It was the first college in the United States to admit female and black students. In April 1861, the Civil War began. Eleven states seceded from the Union, and then a federal fort called Fort Sumter was fired on by Confederate rebels. With the Civil War raging in 1862, Edmonia found herself fighting her own personal war. Oberlin, Ohio was a hotbed of anti-slavery activity. In fact, it was called the town that started the Civil War. However, there were still racial tensions between whites and blacks. She invited two of her friends over to her house for a drink. The two women became ill soon thereafter and Edmonia was accused of poisoning them. The women recovered but some of the townspeople decided to inflict vigilante justice upon Edmonia Lewis. In February 1862 a mob caught her as she was walking home one night. They dragged her into a field and beat her severely. After the attack she was arrested and charged with the poisoning of her friends. Edmonia went to trial, but was found not guilty of the charges. In January 1863, President Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, a document that freed all slaves in the rebellious states of the Confederacy. In February 1863, once again, Edmonia found herself in trouble. She was accused of stealing brushes, paints, and a picture frame, and she was subsequently not allowed to graduate. After being advised by famous black abolitionist Frederick Douglass to go east, Edmonia moved to Boston in late 1863. Boston was the capital of the American anti-slavery spirit. And although Boston, like Oberlin, had its fair share of racial tensions, it was still a far more liberal city than Oberlin. There she met many other abolitionists, including William Lloyd Garrison. While in Boston, Edmonia met abolitionist sculptor William Brackett, and he encouraged her to take up sculpting in a studio. She begins working on producing medallions of prominent abolitionists, including John Brown, the man who raided the federal weapons arsenal in Harper's Ferry, Virginia, in hopes of inciting a slave rebellion. He was captured and hanged for treason. 
1864, Lydia Maria Child, an abolitionist and feminist, began to promote Edmonia's artwork throughout New England. Later that year, in August, Edmonia began to work on a bust of Colonel Robert Gould Shaw, the fallen leader of the 54th Massachusetts Infantry, which was the first all-black regiment mustered up by the North during the Civil War. She also made a bust of William H. Kearney, a soldier in the 54th Massachusetts Infantry, who was awarded the Medal of Honor for his actions during the Battle of Fort Wagner, the same battle where Robert Gould Shaw fell. Edmonia experienced a bit of success with her bust of Shaw. She sold 100 copies. In January 1865, the bust of Shaw was promoted in the National Anti-Slavery Standard and in the Liberator. In April 1865, the Civil War, the bloodiest war in American history, came to an end. In July of the same year, Edmonia went to Richmond in order to teach newly freed slaves. In August, Edmonia heads to Europe with commissions to make busts of Shaw, Horace Mann, a social activist in Abraham Lincoln, the then recently assassinated President of the United States. December saw the ratification of the 13th Amendment, which officially ended slavery throughout the United States. In January 1866, Edmonia moved to Rome, Italy. Italy was a nation of racial tolerance. In February 1866, she makes a statue called The Freed Woman and Her Child. That summer, she began working on one of her most well-known works, Forever Free.